This hydro dipping question comes from one of our YouTube viewers and they said, how did you make the stencils for the letters and symbols? I'm having trouble figuring out how to do that. Y'all got questions? I've got answers. Let's do it. So the viewer is asking how I do custom lettering and graphics and stuff on projects like this and this and this and this. Well, I've got examples of two different ways that I do custom graphics with my hydro dipping projects and I'm going to show them both to you. Just for YouTube disclaimer purposes, this is a safe space. No one is here that can get hurt. This thing has no freedom seeds inside of it and this thing is completely safe. Everyone's going to live. It's going to be okay. So the first method that I like to use is with traditional stencils. And this is very common with Cerakoted projects, but I also use it a lot in hydrographics. And the way that it works is pretty simple. You will prep your part like normal and base coat it like normal. And then you'll use a removable vinyl stencil, which I'll talk about here in just a second. But you'll put the removable vinyl stencil down over the top of your base coat and then dip like normal. After dipping, I like to go back in with an airbrush and highlight all of the edges of the stencil to kind of give it a nice little halo effect. And then you peel the stencil off and clear coat like you normally would. What this does is it leaves the base coat color underneath where the stencil was and gives you a really cool graphic. So there's a couple of ways to accomplish this. The easiest way and the one that I recommend is you go check out my friends over at BransonSaracote.com. They've got a huge library of stencils on their website that you can purchase. They're already pre-cut for you. You just go in and select what you want. They ship it to you and you can peel the stencils off and they're made for different size items. They have them for cups and tumblers and bigger ones and smaller ones just depending on what you want to do. Now if you want to make your own custom stencils or have them made locally by somebody that has a vinyl cutting machine like a Cricut or a Silhouette I think is what it's called. You'll need to make sure that they or you whoever is making it is using a low tack removable paint stencil you do not want to use permanent vinyl like you would buy at a vinyl shop for you know putting stickers on the back of your car that stuff will pull the base coat paint off in most cases if you're going to cut your own stencils or have them made by someone i recommend that you use the avery denison high heat vinyl that is what we use for the cerakote stencils that's what branson cerakote uses to make their stencils and it's a great stencil material i've had no issues with it using it for both cerakote and hydro dip and the other Another way you can do it is with these and these are water slide decals. With water slide decals you do the entire dipping process like normal and after you get done dipping you will make your little water slide decal and apply it here. After it is dried then you can clear coat over the top of it and it just becomes a part of your pattern. Here is another example of one right here. Water slides is not as easy as it looks. There is a little bit of a learning curve to it and I highly suggest if you're thinking about getting into doing water slide type graphics, go check out some videos on YouTube from some of the craft people that can walk you through step by step. There's a difference in the type of water slide transfer paper that you use. There's clear and then there's white backed and you will need an inkjet printer in order to do it. If you're gonna use that type of paper, then they make another type of paper for laser jet printers. And there's just a lot to it and it's more than I can explain. And I don't do it enough to really know all the ins and outs of water slides. The water slide paper that I use, I use in an inkjet printer and I have a link to it down in the description box below if you're interested in checking that out. But as far as the dipping, it doesn't change anything. You still prep it, base coat it like normal, dip it as you normally would, make your water slide decal, cut it out. You will have to seal the water slide decal so that it doesn't get any clear coat soaking into it and ruining the colors. For that, I use just Rust-Oleum Crystal Clear, either flat or gloss, it does not matter. So once I have my water slide paper actually printed out, I will clear coat the whole entire page with about four or five coats just to make sure that it's really good and sealed. Then cut the water slide out and then use the water application process to apply it to my part. And then I usually give it, you know, eight, 10 hours to dry, make sure it's completely dry, and then I'll add my clear coat like normal. And it works just fine with both gloss and flat clears. Pretty simple process to do both, just takes a little bit of practice. You're not going to get it right on the first time, so just be prepared to screw it up a few times. It took me quite a while before I got really comfortable with it. Now I can do the stencils, no problem. The, the water slides I'm still kind of eh, 50 50 on. And now the moment you You've all been waiting. Let's roll the bloopers. Two viewers and they asked, did you, how did, and they asked, how, how did, how, this YouTube question, this YouTube question, the viewers asking how I do the water slide, Blah!